Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it's Friday so it's weigh in day, WW workshop topic day, talk about my week, set some goals for next week. I have a lot to share. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell is turned on because I do a weigh in every Friday and I do upload five videos every single week. Don't forget to check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. Highly recommend personalized macros and calories. This is how I've lost 140 pounds, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly or you just need a little bit of extra accountability. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and come join my Facebook group. We would love to have you are all down in that description box. So let's talk about my week, my weigh-in, and the WW workshop topic. friends. I hope you had a fantastic week. I had a week. Not going to lie. It's, it's been a week. I have, I have feelings. I have feelings about the week and about where I am with my weight loss and my recovery from plastic surgery. I am officially just over three weeks post-op. And this last week has been interesting, I guess is the easiest way to say it. Not bad, but interesting. First, my recovery is going really well. I feel like every day gets a little bit better and better. I am still sleeping on the couch because I need my body, I need my back to still kind of be propped up in order for it to feel good while I'm sleeping. And it, al it also allows less pressure on my chest. Honestly, my back is doing fantastic. I feel normal when it comes to my back. My incision is a little bit sensitive, but I have no other pain or discomfort with my back. The majority of the discomfort, not pain, but discomfort is in my chest. I still have a lot of pressure and my implants are still really high, especially my left one. I know it's going to take weeks, if not months for that to be normal, but I definitely still have that discomfort in my chest area. And I find if I do too much, this means just basic moving around, I get a lot of pressure and discomfort in my chest. So I'm not ready to really up my activity at all, which means I'm not ready to start exercising at all, which is such a bummer. I was really hoping to feel good enough to at least be able to go outside and take a walk because I've been feeling fat, flabby, I'm comfortable in my body. This last week, I really, towards the end of this week, have felt fat and flabby. And I know logically in my head that I'm not fat and I'm not extra flabby, but I think that the lack of movement and the lack of exercise, maybe even just in my mind or physically has has made me feel this way. Now, I noticed that I am, I am still very swollen in several areas, especially across my back. And in this area, especially on the sides right here, I'm very swollen. This is an area that I had a lot of loose skin and I still feel like that area has loose skin even though it's swelling. And I still have that kind of square body, that SpongeBob-esque body. Not as bad, but it's still there. And I feel like that's making me feel larger than I am, fatter than I am, flabbier than I am. Listen, I'm just trying to be real. It's not all rainbows and unicorns on these weight loss journeys, or even once you've reached your weight loss goal and you're in recovery from skin removal, it's not all happy times and it's still a struggle mentally for me. I still look at myself in the mirror and just feel flabby and fat. Even though the scale doesn't indicate that, that's how I feel and I have to try to correct that mentally. Just like you, up here plays a big part in my weight loss journey as well and just how I feel about myself overall. And I know that a lot of the feelings that I have are just because I'm not used to being so sedentary. I'm used to being very, very active and I miss that. And I think that that plays mind games with me. So this week, honestly, mentally has been a little bit rough, physically has been a little bit rough. And I'm hoping that as I move into my fourth week of recovery, maybe a lot of the discomfort in my chest area will subside and I'll be able to at least start going outside and taking a walk. Now it's hot here. It's almost 100 degrees here and we actually have had a couple of days over 100 degrees. So first thing in the morning is my favorite time to walk. So we'll see what this next week brings when it comes to how I'm feeling and if I'm actually able to get out and move my body because I think that that will not only help me physically but will really, really help me mentally. So overall, this week's been good but it's been a little bit of a mental struggle. Before I share my weigh-in with you though, I wanna chat about this week's topic from WW because honestly, 
It's a good topic and it's something that I feel like we all encounter on our weight loss journey. And that is how to handle changes to your routine. Let me just tell you, my routine is not a routine anymore. It has been completely flipped upside down and changed. As you know, I used to work out all the time. I used to move my body all the time. I used to go out and about all the time. And I haven't done anything since I had plastic surgery. So my routine is completely transformed. And I wanna share with you how to navigate that. And this can also be simple changes to our routine. Like maybe we're going out with our friends for the weekend. How are we going to stay on track and navigate that? Maybe we have a summer vacation vacation coming up, or maybe we have lots of barbecues that we're going to be attending. As we know, summer is the time for doing things and being outdoors and people travel and take vacations in the summer. And that is a change to our routine that we need to learn to navigate. So I wanna share with you some tips and tricks from Weight Watchers. Roll the camera. Pretend you're watching a day during this time play out like a movie. What's going on? Who is there? How is it different from your usual experience? Number two, notice the hiccups. List anything that might get in the way of the routine you rely on. My friend has a lot of sweets and other foods at her house that I don't normally buy. And number three, find realistic solution. Consider what things you could do to stay engaged with your journey. I could bring a lower point dessert or ask her to store those snacks out of sight. Number four, reshoot the scene. Use your answers from step two and three to make a detailed action plan to support your goals. Be specific about what, where, how, and when. And number five, think ahead. Fast forward to after the credits roll. How will you get back to your regular routine? Write down the first thing you'll do and when. We all love routines and we all know that the number one way to be successful in a weight loss journey is to be consistent and our routines help us be consistent. And when they're thrown off kilter or taken away completely, it's really hard on us mentally and it's hard on our weight loss journey or our health journey overall. What we need to learn to do is make adjustments in our new day to day. That's been something I've really struggled with. Again, the mind part of this whole recovery process and weight loss journey is making the adjustments to my new daily routine because it looks absolutely nothing like my old daily routine. And this is what's going to happen with life. Life throws us curveballs, life happens, and sometimes what is our normal routine completely gets wiped clean and we have to establish a new normal routine and stay on track with our weight loss journey all at the same time, which can be really difficult. And sometimes, just sometimes we can't control the disruptions to our routine. We just need to learn how to navigate what's been thrown our way and how to set up a healthy new routine. I do wanna share three fast facts from WW with you. Number one, when your environment changes, your behavior often changes too. Number two, you can adjust your approach to fit the new environment so it supports your goals. And number three, staying engaged on your journey, even in a modified way, can keep you on track until things go back to normal. It's all about learning to navigate life and what life throws at us and not letting it completely derail you because it's not your normal routine. And take it from me, this is much easier said than done, but I really feel like these tips and tricks and these three fast facts are really going to help us get there. And remember, your routine is going to be thrown off all the time, throughout your entire life, throughout your entire weight loss journey, and learning how to make that work for you is really going to help you be successful overall. So I really like this topic and I'm excited about the next few weeks being how to deal with disruptions in our life and disruptions in our routine, because like I said, it's going to happen multiple times throughout our weight loss journey. So now let's talk a little bit about my weigh-in. Like I said, I haven't been feeling the best about my body this last week. I feel like all of this recovery and being on the couch is really starting to catch up with me both mentally and physically. So it's probably been one of the most challenging weeks I've had ever on my weight loss journey. Yeah, really one of the most challenging weeks I've had so far on my weight loss journey. Now I've still been weighing myself every single day. That's something that I prefer to do. I don't let the scale bother me. You guys know I don't really care about the scale, but because I am sedentary and I'm not able to work out, I also want to make sure that my weight isn't moving in the wrong direction during this sedentary recovery period. So stepping on the scale every day has really been beneficial for me to see how the foods that I'm eating, how much water I'm drinking, what am I doing during the day? Am I feeling like I'm swollen or my body's being affected by my movement, how that affects the scale overall. You also know that when I returned home from my plastic surgery, I was up about five pounds. Last week, I was able to take all of that weight off and be right back to where I was prior to going for surgery. And this week, when I stepped on the scale, I actually lost point 
four. Now this definitely played another mind game with me because I do feel so flappy and fat, but the scale indicates that I've lost point four, which going down on the scale isn't necessarily a good thing for me right now because for me in my mind, which is partially true, maybe not partially true, is I feel like all of this weight loss is me losing all of the lean muscle that I've spent the last year building up, which I know that you don't lose all your muscle in a couple of weeks, and I know muscle memory is a real thing, so when I go back to working out, I'm gonna get right back to where I was, but when I see the scale go down, that's the first thing I think about is, oh my gosh, I'm losing my lean muscle. So for me, my goal during the rest of my recovery truly is to try to maintain my weight as much as possible and get back to just moving my body, even if I'm slow as a snail taking a walk, just feeling like I'm back to a little bit more of a normal routine, I think is going to help me both mentally and physically. But I also wanna take my time and allow my body to recover and really listen to my body. So I'm not mad about losing 0.4, I'm not happy about losing 0.4, I'm kind of meh about it. I mean, really 0.4 is nothing. And I feel like for me, that kind of indicates that I am able to maintain my weight while recovering from plastic surgery. And I also know that I've been really focused on getting in my water and staying hydrated. It's been hard. It's definitely been harder than I expected, much harder. This plastic surgery experience overall has been much harder in so many aspects than I thought that it was going to be. Speaking of plastic surgery, I do have a Q&A coming your way on Sunday where I'm going to give you more in-depth plastic surgery updates, answer all of your questions regarding my surgery. So definitely stay tuned for that and make sure you're subscribed and your bell's on so you don't miss it. Now I wanna hear from you guys. How was your week? How do you feel about this routine being disrupted and how that may negatively or positively affect your journey? Let us know down in the comments how you combat that. And if you enjoyed another way in give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. Come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you and I'll see you in tomorrow's massive stock up haul. I went to Sam's Club. We got a big haul coming your way tomorrow. So I'll see you then. Have a wonderful Friday. Bye.